Hi guys, my name is Samantha and this is an intermediate writing class on Verblink. Um, today we will be continuing our creative writing, um, same as what we did last week. I'm muted. Hopefully you guys can hear me. <laughs> um, so we'll be doing creative writing. And I will give you a few um, writing prompts that you can use to jog your imagination. Um, or if you're super creative, you can just write about whatever you want. Okay? And I will edit it for you when you're finished writing. You will present it to us and we'll edit it. So this will be good for working on your description, um, using quotations and stories, and you have pretty much the freedom to write about anything and I'm here to help you as we go through it. Okay, so here's the document that we will be using in class today. Um, you all have access to this document so you can choose whichever topic you want to write on and type your name and then you can write your piece right underneath it. Okay. Um, so if you have a, a reservation, you can come on in right now. Um, if you don't, you can join me in about 30 seconds, I think, as soon as the button is green. You accidentally muted YouTube. <laughs> okay. Um, so you can come join as soon as the button's green. And yes, I will just open up the document there. So we'll see you guys in a minute. Eight viewers. Eight viewers were, oh, on the document, yes. Um, if we were to do this class 10 hours from now, we would have many more viewers. <laughs> but <laughs> I think most people are sleeping right now. So, um, but I'm awake, ready to go. Um, OK, so hello. Hi, Juan David. Juan David, you look so much like another student. Um, his name is Adele. Every time I see you, I think of him because you look so much like him. I'll have to come into class sometime, and uh, you guys are like twins. <laughs> um, hey, Sam. Hey, Sam. From where? His name is um, Abel. He's Where's Abel from? I don't know. I'm not sure. But you look so much alike. Every time I see you, I think I think of him. Um, okay, so creative writing. <laughs> I don't know which story should I choose. I don't know. We have we have four choices, and then you have the free write option where you can write about whatever you want. So maybe that fairy tale inspired you to write about the fairy tale or something. Mm -hmm. um, let's take a look at our options. Uh, so we've got the strange, the strange machine. Write something. Yeah. So it says, my uncle is an inventor. One day, I was searching through the attic of my uncle's house. I found a very strange machine with many buttons, knobs, dials, and levers. I had never seen a machine like it before. On one side, there was a button that said on dot 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 okay second option one night I snuck into the old abandoned house at the end of the street I was surprised to find a small padlocked treasure chest on a dresser in an upstairs bedroom there was a note on it that said do not open ever I also noticed a small key hanging on the wall I tried it in the padlock it was a perfect fit or we have a shrinking potion. As I was digging through my grandmother's pantry for some spices, I found a mysterious jar hidden at the back of the bottom shelf. The label on the jar said, shrinking potion. I didn't believe it would actually work. And our last one, the pet sitter. I noticed an ad in the newspaper for a pet sitter. Family was offering $200 per day just to look after their pet. Easy money, I thought, so I took the job. 
When I arrived at the house, a man gave me the keys and said, Rex is out back, and then he left. So I went to the window, and there in the backyard, I saw a T-Rex, which is a dinosaur. <laughs> Okay. Um, um, if you don't. don't, if you don't like any of these ideas, if if you don't like them, you can be creative and write about anything you want. Okay. okay. So if you want to write about something else, you're welcome to do that. Uh, is it on the world? In the world? In. Oh, okay. I don't understand what you might do. Okay. So what we're doing is you need to choose one of the prompts or the ideas, okay? And then if you look at my screen, you'll see what I'm doing. So let's say I wanted to write about the shrinking potion. Okay, I would go to the shrinking potion and put my... And then I will write a creative story based on this prompt. So it oh. says, the label on the jar said shrinking potion. I didn't believe it would actually work. So I might write something like... You're muted. Um, and how much you okay, and then left. you would continue to write. So it's uh, creative... Okay, so you have lots of time to write. You can either write one long story or you could write two short stories. Um, you can tell us when you're finished and I will edit your writing for you and help you with your grammar and your word choice and things like that. Okay. Uh, I have a question again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which uh, system should I use when I'm describing hate? Like inches or meters? Sorry, height? Height. Height. Ah. Um, in Canada, we say five, like I, I would say I'm five foot eight. What is the shortest height that you know? <laughs> uh, four feet tall would be pretty short. Four feet tall. Be kind of. Uh, for a worm. For a, a worm? Yeah. <laughs> Two inches? <laughs> Worms are not very tall. You would use inches. You use length. Length, yeah, or their height. You can say they're like two inches tall or... Okay, so choose, choose a topic. Um, write your name and then you can start to write creatively, okay? I'm just gonna make the text that you're writing black. So I see Firkin and one David. Good. Does everyone understand what we're doing? No. No. Okay. So there's a document. Do you see the link? Yes, I'm okay. on the link. Yeah. Okay. So you need to choose one of the writing prompts. So we have the strange machine, the padlock chest, the shrinking potion and the pet sitter. So these are prompts, they're, they're ideas. So you have to write something creative, like a story. Write a story based on your prompt or your idea. Short story? Yeah, a short story. And so it's, it's all writing and then when you're finished, I will edit it for you and we'll look at the words and your grammar and things like that. So you choose one that you like, a topic, and then you write a story. Okay? Shrinking potion. Shrinking potion. Shrinking is like you're big and you go... Oh. Yes, yes, you shrink. <laughs> you, you become uh, small. Yeah. That's like a magic potion. Yeah, exactly. It's like Alice in Wonderland. But I don't know how, what kind of story I have to do. It's up to you. So just something creative. Um, it's Give fiction, example. so example. Your, it's your imagination, and you're just making okay. it. Come on, another question. Okay. When you put uh, insert a key into a keyhole, and you do like that. Turn. Like you, turn the key. Okay. 
Okay, we've got... So I have to continue what is written, huh? Right, right. So it's just to get you started, and then you continue. Okay, uh, there's someone took a question. So we'll see. They'll choose another thing. You can, you can do the same one. It's okay. Two people can do the same topic. I don't want to spoil his ideas. Oh, okay. We've got um, no one's doing this the shrinking potion yet. No, oh, there is uh, Jose, I think. Oh. Ah, there, he was writing. Oh. Uh, he gave. Where uh, is it? Okay, so again, if you have questions, just ask out loud as, as you're writing. I'm watching you guys write, so... <laughs> I, I'm stuck. I haven't any ideas, but... I don't have anything. We call it uh, write, writer's... Writers? Writer's block. Yes. If you can't think of anything. Yay, Maria's here. Someone is uh, trying to do with my story, I don't okay, know what. Guys, uh, please don't don't touch anyone else's story because um, it gets confusing. <laughs> so maybe they're cop copying it or something when they have it all highlighted. Maria, I was wondering where you were. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't check the verbling schedule today until now. So I was... um, do you still have your story from last week? Um, I think I saved a copy. I was saying you should continue it because it was really good, but uh, <laughs> there's some new writing prompts there if you want to start a new one. Okay, okay. Uh, I think I need a writing prompt to get okay. get going or get my creative juices flowing. So if you can make up one um, for for the other story. <laughs> I don't even, I wouldn't know uh, where to start. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Uh, I gave you the link there. Uh, teacher, mm -hmm. can I choose an uh, uh, idea about sports or something? That's yeah, yeah. Amazing. If you see at the very bottom, it says be creative. I'm, if you I'm don't... doing it. I'm creating my own idea. Mm -hmm. So if you don't like them, you can write about anything you want. Sure. So sports or whatever. Mm -hmm. These stories are looking good. Oh, of course you have to add me as a character. <laughs> We still don't have anyone writing about the shrinking potion. Oh, I was cho uh, I chose it, but uh, I, th I think uh, there was someone who was writing. So yes, was I see I someone's someone's cursor, someone's mouse is there, but they're not writing. But that's okay. Uh, it's um, yes, it was your name, uh, Samantha. It was me. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah, I, I was writing an example there, but I deleted it. Now there's anonymous user 16. <laughs> uh, is it normal that it's stuck when we type? Mm, it shouldn't get stuck. Maybe it's my window? Yeah, maybe. Uh, I, I'm not sure. Uh, which one is correct? Saying at the outskirts of the steel or just outskirts? On the outskirts. On the outskirts. It's just stuck. Is it still stuck? Uh, no, it's sometimes it's, uh, it's... Okay. You know what you can do? Um, if you want, you can just type into a different document 
And then when you're finished, you can copy and paste it. And then it won't, you know, if it's getting stuck, then... Um, so you copy and paste. Yeah, you can just type in your on your own computer and then just paste it. I love these classes because you guys write some of the funniest stuff. Oh no, I made a mistake. <laughs> I was going to describe that children as stupid or goofy, but then I realized that children is me, that child is me. Ha uh ha. -huh. I have to change that name. <laughs> why, why is it you? Did you? Are you using yourself? I started with I am doing that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, we've got some good stories coming along. Yeah. So again, if you're just joining, um, we're writing creative short stories in the document. Okay, I want a question. Some, there was something like waka waka something, like for example, some things are going up and you hit with hammer. Waka. Like the game where things pop up and you're hitting it. Yeah. Oh, it's called um, waka something. There's a name for it. It's it's uh, like mole in a hole or something like that. You no, think not mole no. Are you thinking of like a word for the action or the name of the game? Name of the game. Whack a mole. M whack a mole. Whack a mole, right? Like this? Yeah. yeah, it's like that. I'm really bad at that game. Like terrible. <laughs> I'll hit I'll hit other hole like I think <laughs> I hand eye coordination. <laughs> like yeah. hit the wrong hole when it's over here and it's 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 a disaster. You have to play a lot of computer games, especially Sorry, shooting so games. I have problem with my PC you can't type. Oh, is it it's on your computer it won't yes. let you type? The hangout uh, is slow in my PC. I can't barely type. Um why don't you try try turning off your camera. Turn off your camera. My camera? Yeah, there at at the top, um, there's the camera button, yes, right. and then beside that, there's a bandwidth button. So you can adjust your bandwidth settings. If you turn if you turn it down, it might be a little bit better for you. I think yes, you're right. Because the camera takes up a lot of the. Uh, yeah, that's it. So if you have a slow connection, it's probably better to just turn it off. Okay. Roy, am I in? I don't know. Are you? Roy. No. No. Sam's got a good story coming. Nink. Maria, her creative juices are working. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking how to um, continue the story from last time. Mm. It's just a, a, a story I can imagine. Anything, huh? Eh? How? Yeah, exactly. It's it's up to you. It's in your imagination. Okay. How can I get out? Well, you're not in, <laughs> so at least unless your name is something else in the. Hangout, but you can just uh, click back on your browser. Um, we can. We can see the messages from inside. Do you have any idea how I can continue? 
Um, let's see. Where's your story? Let me find your story from last week. Uh -huh. um, I think I posted the link. No, I didn't. Let's see if I can find it. Yeah, I have it here. Oh, you have it? I was looking for it. I was going to... You can paste it into... Um... Into the document? Okay. Yeah, if you want to. And we okay. can continue it in another color or something. Because I don't remember where you left off. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Oh, yeah, it was the box. And there was like a genie or something, right? A what? A, ge a genie? A um, okay. When you rub a magic lamp, a genie comes out. Genie, okay, yeah. Like, like in, uh, like in Aladdin. Mm, yes. I'm just reading it again to catch up. Oh, yeah. Okay. How do you spell that? Genie. Is that G? G E N I E. Genie. G E N I E. Genie. Okay. So, he gave you your wish, right? And you ended up in the car that you asked for. Yes. <laughs> But you were parking in some weird place. So yes. maybe now you're all like disoriented and you want to see if you like go and find the genie to ask him. Um, or you could ask the police officer what year is it and maybe you've like time traveled or something. Yes. Um, you so the go. genie is still around. Or <laughs> yeah, maybe because I don't know if he died or what happened. <laughs> He gave you your wish, so maybe you want to find him to thank him or to ask for another wish. Uh, okay. So that you could kind of describe your adventure trying to find him. Or you could go to jail and it's over because you have a party. <laughs> <laughs> maybe just ponder for a bit, see what you can come up with. How's everyone doing? Any other questions so far? Okay. <laughs> it is Will said it screams. Hmm? It is Will said it screams. Screams? Yes. Like, ah! Yeah. Yeah? Okay. I don't know what to write, actually. <laughs> I'm Where? writing and writing, and I don't know how to continue this story. Where are you? Let me see. Okay. The button is here. You killed someone! Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. I can't start. They're haunting you. Maybe now um, the girl that you killed turns into a ghost and she, it's like an episode of Poltergeist and she's haunting you in your house. So okay. you get ghost hunters to come in and try to find her. And she's throwing objects around when you're sleeping and I don't know. <laughs> Have you heard that word before? Poltergeist? A poltergeist is, um, well, it's, it's a movie, but a poltergeist is a ghost that haunts you and physically, like, throws objects around in your room and moves things. It's called movie. Like a trickster kind of ghost. 
Yes, uh, a family uh, living uh, uh, ab above a cemetery. Yeah, it's the name of a movie. Um, but it's also it's also like well, I don't know if it's a real thing, but it poltergeists are something that certain the people believe in and look but for and stuff. Poltergeist is a, a German name, uh, word. It does look German. No, it is, but I checked. <laughs> I checked uh, when I saw the movie mm -hmm. in the 80s. So, uh, one David, maybe the girl you killed turns into a poltergeist and haunts you. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Who's Maria? Who's Maria? Uh, they use also uh, ectoplasmic uh, cr creature. Uh, ex extra it's, uh, extra scientific, extra. scientific words of the, the ghost explanation. What is it? Can I ask you something? Just for a word. What is the name of that little compartment in the car where you can put the keys and Your other glove stuff? box. G glove box. Okay. Glove box. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you mean the part on the passenger side that you pull open? Yes. yes. Yeah, it's your glove box. Okay, thank you. Uh, when, when we close the phone, we say hang up or hang up? Hang up. Hang, hang up. Hang up. Is it, uh, I have no, I have not slept in days. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I haven't slept in days. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to hear Sam read out this story. <laughs> it looks really funny. Maria, do you have writer's block? Uh, <laughs> uh, no, not exactly, but uh, it's easier if I know uh, how to continue. Mm -hmm. I don't know right now. But I think I need to get myself out of that spot mm -hmm. and uh, <laughs> find a place to park the car. Yeah. <laughs> You're not allowed to park here. Here, let me. Have you been at Times Square? Yeah. I don't remember if you are allowed to drive your car there. I don't, I don't remember. remember. I was 10 years old or I, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I haven't been there since I was a kid. <laughs> So as soon as um, you guys are finished or you're running out of things to say, let me know and I'll start editing.
don't know it's uh, if it's enough i made just a short story do you have something at, written at the bottom oh, okay i see sports could help yeah okay would you like me to look at it now or yes. do you want yes. yeah okay yes. Um, so can you read it for us? Uh, yes, uh, but I have to explain why I wrote this because I experienced this uh, recently. I you was, had uh, like a similar experience? Yes, uh, just a few days. I, okay, I'll read it. Sports, sports could help. I was addicted to tobacco and couldn't get rid of, of it. I tried everything to stop, but when I started to quit, I failed, especially when I faced a problem. I start to feel pain uh, in my chest and tiredness and lost concentration in my work. It, uh, that was really embarrassing and one day my friend invited me to, uh, to a play of soccer. It was in, uh, in a big stadium. It was hard to play after a long sed sedentary period. I felt really pitiless and at first, but then I felt really good. And when I returned back home, I noticed that I'm not in need to smoke anymore. I was amazed even in the coming days, I felt that way so. So I concluded that sports is really useful if you don't have enough will to quit smoking. It helps you also to get rid of addiction and improve improve your resistance against illnesses. Great, okay. So I'm just going to share this on my screen as I'm uh, reading. So, did you hear what I said? Yeah, so this happened to you? Yeah, yes, recently. I played so you've, you've recently quit smoking then? Yes. That's good, that's awesome. Congratulations. How long since you <laughs> last smoked? <laughs> Three days. <laughs> Three days. <laughs> three, three days? Yeah. Good. That's awesome. Congrats. I know it's really hard. <laughs> um, okay. So, first thing, all of your eyes need to be capital. All of them. Okay, so oh, yeah. I'm just, I'm just going to go and capitalize your eyes. Here we go. Just capitalizing. Okay. So I was addicted to tobacco and couldn't get rid of it. Okay, so instead of saying get rid of it, it's probably better to say I couldn't get rid of my addiction. or you could just say quit couldn't quit just gonna space down couldn't quit I tried everything to stop but when I started to quit not quite quit, um I failed comma especially when I facing Problem or a problem. Um, remember to keep it all in one tense because you've started in the past tense here. So you want to keep it probably in the past tense. So I tried everything to stop, but when I started to quit, I failed, especially when I was facing problems. I so I'm. How could you put this into the past here? Here. Started to feel uh, to feel pain in my chest and tiredness, and I lost concentration in my work. So instead of in my work, we would probably work. I lost concentration at work. Um, and you could con you could actually connect these two sentences if you say um, really embarrassing. I lost concentration at work, which was really embarrassing. Okay. A, comma, my friend invited me to play soccer. Um, 
period. It was hard to play after such a long, um, a sedentary period. Good. I felt really breathless at, at first. We don't say at first time. You just say at first. At first. But then I felt really good. And when I returned back home, I noticed that, oh, I missed an eye. That I, can we put this into the past? I was not in need. I was not in need. So instead of saying, I was not in need, you would probably say, I need to smoke. Yeah, I didn't need to smoke. Okay, period. I was amazed, uh, even in the coming days, or I was amazed, period, it's probably better. Even in the coming days, comma, I felt that way. Or you could say I felt the same way. Same way. So I concluded that, okay, sports needs to be booked. Unless you're talking about one specific sport. Oh, no, sports, I missed yeah. the, the, yes, the blue Sports, wheel. yeah, are really useful if you don't actually have Was enough the, will to quit smoking. Uh, Good. Doing it f uh, f uh, fast, fastly. Yeah, to quit um, quickly. Quickly. quickly yes. So I concluded that sports are really useful if you don't have enough will to quit smoking quickly. That. Um, oh, we also have an expression called cold turkey. Have you ever heard this before? To, I know. I know. To, to do something sorry, cold I was turkey. muted. Um, to quit something cold turkey means like um, if you quit smoking cold turkey means one day you smoke a pack and the next day you quit completely and you smoke none. So that's quitting cold turkey um, versus weaning yourself off or quitting over time where you go from five to two to one. Not gradually. Yeah, not gradually. The opposite of gradually. It's an expression that we use um, when we talk about quitting something. Um, it, it helps you also. It's actually better to put the also here. It also helps you. Helps, yes to get rid of addiction and improve your resistance against illnesses. You can do actually against illness. Um, perfect. That's really good. Very good. So just keep in mind your eyes you need to be capitals and you need to be consistent about which tense you're using when you write. So don't bounce between present and future and past. You need to stick to one, one tense. Um, good, very good, good job. Um, so you're welcome to continue writing if you want to. <laughs> if you want to. If not, that's cool. It looks good to me. But we're, there's still 20 minutes left, so if you feel like it, you can. I will uh, see my colleagues what I do with. Sure, sure. Um, so unshare my screen. Uh, was that that truth that we learned today? My screen share is stuck again. I don't know why it's doing that. Um, yes, death throws. Death throws. Um, I'm having hangout problems. I'll be right back. One second. Welcome back. Thanks. Okay, it's better now. Um, yeah, death throws. That's the expression. Um, is anyone else finished? Okay, so how about... Oh my goodness, frickin' yours is getting long. <laughs> um, okay, it was yours one, David. Okay, so... Finish, try to finish your thought. Oh, I'm muted, sorry. Try to finish your...
your thoughts so I can um, do some editing before the end of class. So if you're in the middle of a sentence, just try to finish it up and let me know as soon as you're done so I can edit someone else's writing. Okay? Also, if we run out of time, I will still edit the document and paste the link to Facebook. It's better to edit this way because then you can hear. Okay, if you like you, if you like to check my story, but I didn't finish it. In the Sorry, I'm not way. sure who. I'm Sam. Sam? Yeah. Okay. Um. Where is it? Let's find it. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> um, I cried. So you. <laughs> I'll leave it, but you would probably actually write the words. Oh my god, um, I cried. Oh, uh, you might find a lot of mistakes. I didn't read it. It's okay. Yeah. I ran away and ran as as far as possible, not as far th as far as possible. As far as I can. Or as far as I can. You can actually just. I ran away and ran as far as possible. Okay. Um, what is the topic of? Uh, it's Maria. Maria's. Maria's <laughs> is actually from last week. <laughs> oh, so, the topic uh, is Maria. Or what? Mar Maria, I I think the topic was something like there's a box, a mysterious yeah, box, yes. and you open it. Yes. There was a sound from a wooden box on the sidewalk, and. Uh, so <laughs> it started. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Maria, is uh, someone with us? I thought it was a topic. No, Maria's writing is from. She's using the topic from last week. Oh, okay, it wasn't. Wasn't there. Yeah. So we um. Oops. Oh, my screen share is stuck again. Oh well. Um. How, how do I write? I turned out on. Um, the 42nd Street. Is that? I turned on. I turned on. But if I want to, I swung, swung, or oh, um, like you skidded your car. Skidded. Like if you, you can say you skidded the wheel. Skidding is where it, um, it would like screech, and then there would be kind of black okay, yeah. on the pavement. More drama. <laughs> skidding. Yeah, very dramatic. <laughs> Um, I tried to open the door. Shit. The door? Yeah. Uh, no, I, I wrote it shite, not shit. Shite. Yeah. <laughs> shite. Okay. <laughs> the door hand, hand came out. Oh, the door handle came out. And the door... Are we using the past? Yeah. Okay. Was locked from the outside. I sat on the ground beside the door breathing. Hardly scared to death. Okay, so we hardly doesn't really work here because that means. Um, no, it, hardly. I used it as an ad adjective for the breathing. Oh, okay. I stood out the door, hardly breathing. Scared to death. Because when you have hardly here, it looks like you were hardly scared to death. Okay. So you want it before breathing. I took my cell phone to to call the owner, and after a few rings, he finally answered the phone, wondering. Who? Who is it? The pastor was. I think when you type on the. Yes, I sorry, I know. Sorry, I have to get used. I have to get used to that. <laughs> I'll just edit and read it afterwards. I'm Sally the pet sitter. What the hell is that creature in the backyard? Hank, the owner. So, 
space. You want to use commas before your quotation marks. Okay. Not um, not colons. Um, Sally yelled angrily. You didn't tell me that Rex is a freaking monster. Get me out of here. Is stuck. Oh, his name's Hunk. Hunk. In. So you already said this once. Said in a calm voice. No, this one is in calming voice. Please calm down. Oh, okay. And um. Um, the previous one should be like um, he doesn't care. Right. In a. Maybe we should change this to relaxed, just because it's repetitive. Even though yes. it's yeah, in a relaxed calming voice. Good. Can we say in a relaxing voice? If you say in a re so if you say that your voice is relaxed, it means that you are very calm and chill, relaxed. If you say something in a relaxing voice, that means you want the other person to relax. You're so in this case, um, a calming voice means he's like, please calm down. Rex is not a monster. He's a peaceful dinosaur. So you're you're trying to calm someone. Okay, um, please calm down. He's a peaceful dinosaur unless you offend him. So we've got a lot of commas where there should be um, periods. So just be careful about that. Otherwise, your sentences become uh, run on. Try approaching him slowly. Let him smell you. Don't be afraid. Dinosaur is caffeine. That is his way of getting to know others. You later, I must go now. Sally, Sally shouted. Don't hang up on me. <laughs> you sound. You phone. Oh, the. Call it the dial tone, like beep, 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 beep. So you could say, but all she heard was the dial tone. Okay. Sally wiped her tears trying to calm. Herself is one word. Herself. And then you need a period and a capital. Around and she didn't notice anything wrong. Neither did, and neither horrific man. Oh, okay. So the monster didn't follow her? Yeah, it was she just was and didn't notice anything wrong, and so if you say neither, it sounds like she didn't notice the monster following her. So because neither is linked to this verb notice, so instead you could say um, and the horrific monster wasn't following. Her, either, that. Okay. Okay. Um, stood up heavily. Her foot. She stood up heavily. Her her feet. Barely carried her. It's very nervous. So she thought about her options. She did need that money indeed. Okay, she did indeed. She did indeed need that money. After a few minutes of thinking, she decided to give it a shot. In slow steps, comma, she approached the backyard. She peeked and saw that he was just looking around calmly. She held up her she she held herself up and carefully stepped forward. Rex looked at her curiously, stood up with his nose sniffing in a discovery way. So discovery doesn't work here, but I know what you're trying to say. In a curious way. Yeah, it would be better. Curious way. Her heart beats. <laughs> her heart like a crazy drum party, but she held still. 
Rex approached her and smelt her head for a few seconds. Then he went back to his place. And then he went back to his place and his original seat. She started to calm down and... So you have started to twice. You can just get rid of the second one. She started to calm down and feel safe. She took a piece of meat and threw it to him. He smelled it and it seemed... Here. And it seems that he wasn't hungry. To be continued. <laughs> Good. That's awesome. So just be careful about your commas and periods. Um, because if you have a sentence linked by all the sentences are linked together with commas, that's called run run on. So you just have to be, just be careful about that. But besides that, it's really good. Just a few little things. And keeping your tense uh, consistent, so keep it in consistently in the past tense. Okay. Awesome, very good. Um, who else is finished? Um, Me. Me. Um, Juan David is finished. Yep. Okay. Adam. Okay. Here, here we go. Okay. A little bit scared, and not sure if I could, if I could, if I, sh if I should. If I press the button or not. The button was big and red, symbolizing something dangerous. Anyway, something told me that I had to do it, and I did it. In that moment, comma, I heard an uncommon noise from a set of boxes at the back. At the back, not at the background. We can just say at the back of the attic. Okay. Um, I went to the boxes, and I realized there was an extension. So... When you have I, I, two actions, you can uh -huh. eliminate the second I. You can okay. just say, I went to the boxes and realized there was an extension of the first machine, but there was a little girl there inside a drawer. Gink, she was gagged. I wanted to help her, so I pressed every knob and lever. But unfortunately, <laughs> yes, that is maybe a little bit more than unfortunate. <laughs> Unfortunately, I killed her. Uh, um, I have not slept in days and now I'm, I'm, I'm at a point where you want to... You, you can probably keep this as I want to shoot myself. Okay. I want you to know that the girl I killed was was crying. <gasps> hey! <laughs> killed me? <laughs> yeah. Aw, <Aww>, man. <laughs> That's Sorry. the first time I've actually been killed off in a story, I think. <laughs> Thanks, Juan David. <laughs> now I know yeah. what you really think. <laughs> yeah, you really remember. <laughs> oh, that's funny. One of my school girlfriends. She had disappeared last week after our football game. And nobody knew anything about her until I found, until I found, a way to open the drawer and saw her almost. Ew! Oh, that's nasty. <laughs> 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 and saw her almost like ground beef. Ew. <laughs> so you would say, looking almost like ground beef. Gross. Um, <laughs> this is like a horror movie. I didn't want to notify the police about this. I didn't want to go to jail, so I made a hard decision. What is this? <laughs> and I mixed her beef with spaghetti and ate it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> her spirit lives in the house since that right. moment. And she takes a walk every night in the attic. Okay, so you, we know it's uncle's house, so you could say lives in... My okay. This. And then you can just get it rid of it right here. Okay. Uncle's house. Um, her spirit. So if you want to use since, you can say her spirit. Uncle's house since that moment, and she takes a walk, a walk, a walk in. In the attic every night is better for the word order, um, okay. where. Screams are heard frequently, <laughs> and a nasty beef smell um, 
Instead of is felt, we could put lingers. Okay. Oh my gosh, what? this is insane. What is linger? <laughs> Juan David, <laughs> what is going on? So, <laughs> you're a cannibal and you turned me into spaghetti. <laughs> and now I'm a poltergeist. <laughs> nah, I'm not a cannibal. That's so funny. Okay, good job, Juan David. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Oops. Professor, sorry. <laughs> Oh, very funny. Okay. Um, and uh, Firkin is done. Okay, Firkin. So curious that there was nothing. Oh, nothing in the world. Yeah, you asked me about that, didn't you? <laughs> Sorry, I think I might have thought of it, di it in a different context, but it's nothing in the world. There was nothing in the world that prevent me from unlocking, prevent him, because you changed the subject, from unlocking that rusty lock. Not this comma five inch long worm with the sharpest arrow in the universe. He inserted the key into the keyhole, comma, his eyes wide, widely opened pryingly. Okay, we don't need widely and pryingly. Maybe just widely open or open widely. Um, otherwise, it gets to be a bit much with too many uh, adverbs. <laughs> um, turning it to the right three times and left one time, a sound was heard. The pitch of that sound was so. Instead of the, we can just it, that we can just use. Each of the sound was so high it shattered all the glasses in the town like they hadn't enough problems to grapple with. Um, I don't understand this part. <laughs> okay, that's the latest. Like who didn't have problems? Whole city now they're going to. Oh, play. I see. Um, it shattered all the all the glass in the town, and instead of like. You should say as if. Oh yeah. As if they, as if, have problems to grapple with. All things. That sounds a little bit better. Like is okay, but it's just confusing. As if works better here. Um, yeah. Sam was one of the dwellers of the muddy slump on the outskirts of town. Flipping her out was something that everyone. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, you don't flip someone out. You cause someone to flip out. So um, you could say everyone with making her making her flip out or something like that. Um, but you can't flip someone out. However, that naive and cheesy kid had crazy monkeys playing whack-a-mole in his brain. It was not his fault, though. Not only having a mother who believes in the myth of Achilles devastated his mental state. Okay, not only did a mother who believes in the myth of Achilles devastate his mental state, but also, but also assuming that he was the coolest kid in school without seeing the reality of he was, oh, without seeing the reality of his yeah, explosion. two years ago, the request. Okay, this is too long. Um, <laughs> not only did having a mother who believes in the myth of Achilles devastate his mental state, but also, I think we can get rid of this part. Expulsion two years ago by the request of a snob's father debilitated him. Okay? Just because it was, it's just yeah. getting to be too much. <laughs> okay, if you have to leave, that's okay. Um, class is over, but I will stay for an extra couple minutes to finish editing, okay? okay um, but thanks, so guys. And if I haven't edited your stuff yet, then you can stick around and I'll make sure I have time or I make time to finish.
I'm not going to finish today, so <laughs> I think I have to continue next time. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, thank you. See you later. Yeah, thanks. Bye. Bye-bye. Um, Sam remembered the previous story and decided to alter her style by choosing an axe and shield. Why do you have out here? Oh, pick. You pick something out. Pick don't choose something out. Okay. So you can either say pick, picking out or just choosing. Um, an axe and shield. She set. She set. She set foot, not her foot. She set foot just in front of her house and threw shuriken. What's that? What is shuriken? Uh, a knife. A knife. Okay. Threw a shuriken at an evil drunk person. She missed anything. An airhead opened the chest and that and okay, instead of and that you can say the spell on her. She rolled like a male lion and something. No one shall get... You just wanted me to say poop hole, didn't you? <laughs> no one shall get out of this freaky poop hole. Contrary to the old women's rumors... Women's... Women's... Ooh, I don't know what to do. Oh, <laughs> right. When... um. I don't know why it's underlining. When the word word is already plural, you put the apostrophe s rather than the s apostrophe. I don't know why it's squiggly underlining me here, um, but I'm going to ignore it because um, nothing happened afterwards. Nothing happened. Nothing happened after that shrill like headache. Headache. Okay. Headache inducing. But there's only one woman, right? So there should be an A. Is there only one woman? Or are there many? I'm not sure. Is there only one woman or are there multiple old women? Just, uh, I don't know. It's... Just one. Okay. There's just one. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we don't have time. Uh, the kid cursed at his unbelievably dull fate. The history classes about Canada... Okay, history classes were... Or class was class about the complete humdrum, and this couldn't even occur to bad luck Brian. Couldn't even occur. Um, didn't didn't occur. Maybe. Um, he left the haunted house with a creepy smirk on his face, reminiscent. Of Joker must be that smile, my darling," murmured Yoda. "May the force be with you. But considering how flighty you are looking, go and kill yourself." Oh, that's not nice. Am I gonna die again? No. Not me, is it? <laughs> yeah, crazy in that story. Go and kill yourself would be the death throes of Master. Oh, okay, you would say would be the last. Was going to be. So you're in your death. It's his last moment. Yoda's hands were covered with blood, knowing, period. Oh no, knowing his blood could not be congealed. He broke the arrow down, turned his husky like ears to a woman with long, long straight hair waving by, blowing in wind. That was the last thing he saw. The kid's blood turned cold, and even the deer who, who, who was caught in the spot in the spotlight yeah. or headlights. Headlights. <laughs> Are you okay. thinking of thinking yeah. of the expression? Yeah. Yeah. Turned cold, and even the deer who was caught in the headlights sought a place to hide. 
Sam picked a flower from the old woman's lawn and ate it. What? You knew too many things about me. Uh. Sam groaned overweeningly. Good. Awesome. Very good. Just some vocabulary, really, um, and a few little little things. Um, good. Uh, okay. Nink, are you still here? Yes. Okay, let's take a look at yours, Nink. Um, mm -hmm. Last Friday, I had to go to a dog hospital because my dog had gotten an operation. It needed, it needed physical therapy. Not ah, just physical. The it had 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 to is hydrotherapy. I'm going to this so that I can bold there. This physical therapy can be useful for dogs. For dogs that have problems with the joint or hip, with with their joints or hips. It can affect it can be effective to help them walk. The dog will not be joyful, will not be, will not be as joyful as it should be. You can notice this difference when you play with it. However, it is not really seriously as I think at the first day. You can say, it is not really as serious as I think at first. as you may think at first. Some, some dogs are very excited when coming pool. They cannot control themselves. Dogs enjoy swimming. So you've noticed, you'll notice I changed it to plural. Um, to talk about all dogs rather than mm -hmm. it, which talks about one dog. So I think you're talking more um, in general, right? Dogs that have problems, um, your will not be as joyful as it should be. Um, some dogs are very excited. They cannot control themselves. Dogs enjoy swimming. Although the rate of hydrotherapy is expensive, you need space after your comma, the advantage of the therapy, I wish my dog, oh, I hope, I, I hope we'll be able to run soon. Very good, Nink. Um, just remember to use a space after your punctuation. Mm -hmm. So whenever you have a comma or a period, you have to put a space afterwards. Okay. Thank you. Okay, it's very good. Good job. Good. Thank uh, you. Uh, Maria, did you write somewhere? I wrote something, but I'm not finished. It's only three paragraphs. Okay, well, I'll take a look at this part, and then um, let me know on Facebook when you're done, if you want to keep going, and I'll edit the rest. Okay, well. if I have time. If you have time or whatever, but I'll look at this for now. Um, I received the parking fine. I received the parking So did he already give it to you? Mm, parking fine, you know, a, or a, should it be a parking I, fine? You could say, yeah, I, I received a parking fine. I accept it, okay. The parking okay. fine from the police officer and put it into the glove box. The genie had placed my car in Bryant Park. I slowly turned the car key and looked around for a good escape route. A bunch of people had gathered around the car, pointing in my direction and talking loudly. As soon as the engine started spinning, the crowd dispersed. Perfect. I skidded the wheels and turned on to the 40... You don't need the... Okay. I would say 40 Street. Okay, sh should there be capital S? I'm not sure about that. Okay. 
Mm, yes, there should. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and made a right turn onto 6th Avenue. It seemed convenient to get a break. It, to take a to take a break. To take, yeah. And think about what to do next. So I parked my car in Quick Park, a car park on the same avenue. Okay, in this case, it's lowercase. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. um, because it's not part of the title, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. um, to my utmost, oh, utter, utmost. Utmost, okay. Utmost. Uh, ut utmost. To my utmost surprise, the lamp was lying in the back seat of the car. I picked it up and started to rub. Let's just go with it because it's okay. repetitive. Rub it with my shirt sleeve. Smoke started coming out of the lamp just as before, and sure enough, the genie was appearing. How may I assist you? He... It. I don't know. Asked? <laughs> or some other word. Yeah, asked, asked. Okay. In an ever-polite tone. Awesome. I want you to keep <laughs> writing, because I'm so curious. Cause it's getting really good. <laughs> this is great. Yeah, I'm curious, too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> we'll uh, see what happens. I think that's everyone. Yes, it is. Okay. Um, I'm stuck on screen share. I can't turn it off. So, um, thanks, guys. Uh, okay. I think you all have my Facebook, but um, I'll have. I'm going away for two weeks, but I'll have the same creative writing class in two weeks from now. So, um, okay. hopefully, I'll see you guys there. But I'm teaching tomorrow. Oh no, Wednesday as well. So, hopefully, I'll see you guys Wednesday. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank, thank you so much. much. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.